Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the new Studio 5.1 update. Now, there's a bunch of new features, a couple of things that I've been really excited to, to finally get working for my own use case, and I'm sure you're going to be excited about them too. So the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is the improved auto switching. So in the past, if you had opened up an app, when you use the keyboard shortcut, it was not activating well. The keyboard shortcut is Win Shift Z. Uh, if the main window wasn't active, then it was just not uh, seeing what to do and it wasn't doing it. So here, you can see the keyboard shortcut is working very well. If we double click on the studio icon, it now does a much better job of switching to the correct one. And this is while auto switching is locked. If auto switching is on, then when you go back and forth in between apps, it should work uh, even better than it did before. Now we've fixed the button that hides the taskbar. There's a new process to do this. It's not as pretty as the other one, uh, but it does work. Now let's look at the feature I'm probably the most excited about. This has to do with the radio menu. There are now one, two radio menus. Now these are called radio menu A and B. In order to edit these, there's a quick shortcut. You can press the side button and hold it down and then tap the radio menu. Now this is a warning here because I have voice access up here at the top of the screen. I'm going to talk about this in a little bit. So if we want to edit the radio menu, you can see we've got all the buttons here. If we want to switch the positions of a button, let's say we want to switch the positions of this highlighter and the text one, you can select it, press it a second time, and then select where you want it to go. And these will now switch places, choose update to radio menu. And when we click here, you'll notice that this TT has moved uh, places with the highlighter. All right, so let's edit that back. All right, there we have it. Now we have a handful of new um, improvements to the mini editor. So here, if we're inside of OneNote and I click on these click location buttons, this one clicks on the orange pen, this one clicks on the blue. Now, if I hide the artist pad, and we try the same thing. In the past, this would not work. But we've made some great improvements. It now tracks the size of the artist pad. If you have voice access up at the top of the screen, it will adjust for that. So if we turn off voice access, this is now clicking somewhere else on the screen. But you'll notice that we've made adjustments so it's still works, which is great. I'm actually very, very excited about that. Uh, in the past, if you had the artist pad open here on the left, and you tried to take the click locations from here and put them into the radio menu. Again, I'm just holding down the side button after opening the radio menu and tapping it again on the radio menu. All right, so if you had a click location, so let's say we have this orange one right here, we want it to work over here. If we choose pick button and we click, this would not have worked in the past. Now uh, it pulls over the click locations uh, information and makes uh, some smart adjustments at the background. Now something I'm very happy about is we've added support for Huion pens and for a couple other brands of pens that have not worked in the past. Uh, we've done this through a couple different options. So the first one uh, I'm going to show you here. Let's go ahead and open up the settings for radio menu. We're going to turn on open radio menu with mouse right click. So here I can actually use my finger. So now if I actually want to use the trackpad, I can open up a radio menu with the trackpad by doing a two finger tap and you can use touch to open up the radio menu. Or if you have another type of stylus that has a side button that works as a right click, you can do that here. 
And um, this opens up a lot of different opportunities. Right click with the trackpad, right click with your finger, uh, with styluses that are not supported like Huion styluses, or you can use the new two keyboard shortcuts. The keyboard shortcuts are Win Shift R or Win Shift I, and that should open up the radio menu using a keyboard shortcut. So this gives you a lot of new opportunities to use the, the radio menu in a number of different situations. Now, here's another one that I think is really cool. So open up the Studio app. This little icon is going to open up voice access for us. Here we can do something neat. Open Tablet Pro Touch. Open Tablet Pro Touch. Right click. Right click. Right click. Now here's what I really like about this. This process up here, you can insert text with your voice uh, without having to open up Cortana every time. This can do basic commands like undo, uh, copy, paste, delete uh, in a lot of different situations, not every single situation, but a lot of situations you can use this like a, a voice uh, keyboard. Now if I switch this to command mode, command mode, there's a lot that I can do. Notice I have two different radio menus here, this one all yellow. Uh, these are our different panels. And what I can do, uh, let's try this again, hold control, hold control, release control. So that's not very useful uh, for uh, efficiency. It works, but not how I would do it. So uh, we would do here, control, adjust. But then what I actually really like is being able to switch using um, voice commands here for the different paint modes. Press four. Press five. Press one, press seven, press eight, press six. So you can see that this has a ton of functionality that can make using your, your tablet just far more powerful. So we're, we're trying our best to integrate support for voice access. Now voice access you can use uh, to trigger voice command functions. Default mode, website, layers, So there's a lot that you can do faster than we were able to do it in the past. So I'm very excited about the voice access function, how well it works. This is a Windows 11 feature, by the way. The voice access keyboard shortcut to open this is Win Shift U. That is um, a function that we've added to uh, the Studio app, so it doesn't exist inside just Windows. Now, a quick note, if you're using voice access and the uh, mini editor at the same time, if you try and pick a button, it will offset it incorrectly. So make sure that you close voice access if you're using the pick button in the mini editor. So there's additional options that we've added inside the mini editor. So here, if you're in appearance, you can use these buttons to switch in between. Notice that the dock icon here, that this icon is switching. These colors are switching. So if you wanted to take uh, one of these colors and apply it to another one, so let's say we want this white color, you can choose copy, go to the red, choose paste. This icon right here updates to the radio menu. Now when you look at it, that icon has changed from red to white. So we got a one-star review. Uh, recently it says amazing app, but too expensive. And I know that when uh, I talked earlier about doing a subscription-only model, I knew that people were going to be upset. 
However, I'd like to encourage any of you who uh, really like the app that want to support its its growth to help counteract counterbalance this one star review by going to the app store and and rating us up if you feel like we're useful. Five star rating useful, not perfect, but five star rating useful, and that would be something that I would I would really appreciate. And then I want to get your opinion on the price as well. Uh, we have two subscription options, one monthly, one yearly, and then we have a lifetime license that right now is on sale for $39.99 instead of $100. So I'd like to hear your thoughts in the description of this video on Discord or wherever you'd like to share those with me. All right, you guys, that's it for the Studio 5.1 update. Again, if you find the app useful, please help us out by rating us up in the App Store. You can do that by using this rate button right here. Just click on that and it'll take you directly to the rating options for the, for the app in the store. If you have questions about the update, please put that in the comment section or in the Discord channel and I'll look forward to replying to you there. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.